Hi guys, Peter here. Just been away for a couple of weeks in the new year on holidays and I left the boys to themselves and they're getting up to all sorts of tricks here. Now, this is what Brad's been doing. That's the muffler on the John Deere grader and we wanted to put a chrome tip on it so Robbo, the driver, could have a bit of bling on it. Now, it was too long, couldn't put the chrome tip on it without it being above the cabin because the original muffler went nearly up to that point. So Brad had got a bit of a trick here. He cut the top out of the muffler and all the insides of it and, and all of that. So he took two thirds of it out and left a third behind and then put the lid back on and all the bits in, inside. <clears throat> so he's just he's just trying to escape here now. Before you disappear mate, brief explanation. I go away for two weeks <laughs> and you, yeah. you hook in and yep. get up to tricks. Yep. What were you doing with the what was the idea with the shortening up of the muffler? Well we did a straight through no, old Wayno, I reckon it was a bit too loud, a bit too noisy. So. Wayno's Robbo, eh? Right? Robbo, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we ended up, uh, yeah, I thought, well, we don't want to heap a muffler out the top because we'll have no chrome. So we just knocked the muffler down so it's level with the bonnet and then we get maximum chromage. Yeah. And he's real happy. Yeah, and I think it's just quiet enough that it'll be noisy enough but quiet enough. Will, will he still be able to hear the rock box? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Will it stop him dancing in the cab? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Righto, mate. Uh, like I said at the end of the last video, we're going to be spraying for a fair bit, so got to use this old girl. So this is uh, a house and sprayer, which we call the grasshopper, um, probably for reasons you can tell. So it's just nice being able to have a sprayer here at the development block, um, which I think I forgot to say, but yes, we are at the development block. Just a designated spray here, um, so we're not always yeah, going to and fro and this one's a little bit, this is only a 24 metre boom so it can fit in and around some of the trees a bit better than the 36 metre boom on the row gator. So unfortunately it's got about oh, a bit less than half the size tank on it so there's a lot more filling up and toing and froing but still a lot better than having a sprayer on a, um, on a tractor on the three point linkage so uh, yep that's what we're going to be doing for the next few days, I think, uh, in between rain events. They're talking a little bit of rain, so um, we'll just have to see how that all goes. It's uh, going to be a bit of a boring spraying session. Um, it's just very slow, rough, um, and yeah, it's not going to be the smartest thing to try and fly a drone while I'm spraying. Well, the rain arrived and put an end to pretty much everything we were doing, but yeah, so I got about half of the spraying done, um, which was good. Have to see how much longer this rain continues for and how much we end up with, and yeah, it might be a day or two before we can get back out on the paddock. So there we have a good good bit of sound deadening, but uh, maximum chromage, as Brad says. Yeah, I think it was just a little too rowdy without any um, any muffler in there, but might be a good compromise. Well, guys, we're back at the main farm. Um, yeah, it's been a couple of days since the rain. Uh, but, yeah, we've just got a few little jobs to tidy off. And, yeah, I think... Hopefully by tomorrow we'll be back out in the paddock getting a bit of stuff done. So currently got the gearbox coming out of the header. That's header number one. Um, so what we noticed, uh, particularly this last season, is yeah, it was just very sluggish in the, the hydrostat. So what we've already done is pulled the pump and the motor off for the hydrostat um, drive and yeah, got it sent away to be refurbished and checked out. But yeah, we're just going through it the gearbox as well and checking it and yeah the oil was quite dirty so we ended up 
just going to pull it off just to make sure because yeah we want to leave ourselves plenty of time so we're not trying to find a gearbox or get a gearbox fixed right before harvest so no better time like straight after harvest to fix some of the bigger issues also i've got the grader now we've just got a few little things to tidy off on that and yeah while it's wet weather we can't obviously use it for grading so we're yeah just going over it again checking it all over making sure we can get it all in tip-top condition the boys uh, had a look at the oil in the gearboxes header number one was very black oil in the, the ground drive transmission and as you can see it's being pulled out there's nothing there and it's over here there's Josiah he, there was a heap of metal in the bottom of it and he's blowing out cleaning that out now and we have found the problem what are you finding in here mate what did you find there's all bits of metal and... All bits of metal and you're cleaning them out? Cleaning them out and there's like almost like a paste of metal that was in the bottom of it. Yes. So you can see the difference in the colour. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well that's good. Alright, you keep doing, going mate. You're doing a good job. So, back over here. The boys have pulled it apart. And here's the part of the final drive. And... Over here, we have the spider gears, which is inside the, or part of the differential. And what we believe has happened is that when it was in the mud and spinning and one wheel spinning, because these are a bush type um, bearing and they're not a needle roller, um, they've just got so hot and spun the oil out and then grabbed. And so the, be the bushes have grabbed and turned into metal and that's where the metal's coming from so header number two has got a diff lock and we think that's why that was protected itself because there wasn't one wheel spinning under full load like number one was so we've got all the boys active doing stuff brad's chasing spare parts looking like he's really busy we'll leave him alone yeah it's me back again i just caught up with brad and he's um Modifying the pull on the trash farmer, that's the New Holland trash farmer that we use down at the development block, and that's the pull off it. Um, and I don't know where the other bits, the old bits are, but we bought a, a new pull from Boss Engineering at Inverell, and we're going to modify that, put that on here, because we couldn't get the original part. You know where the other bits are, Matt? The old bits? Uh, no. So, anyway. Here we are, we've got differentials pulled apart, we've got pulls going on. So while, um, while Dad's not as busy, I just give him a camera and he can do all the work. <laughs> so sorry if he gets a bit too much. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I used to be the top dog, now I'm just the rung on the bottom of the ladder that the dog goes by. Well, it's been a really windy day today, so that's going to go a lot, long way to drying up the ground, so we should be right to spray tomorrow, I think. I think today's been a fairly good day in that, yeah, we found some issues with the, the gearbox on the on header number one, uh, which you would have seen. And yeah, that's just nice to catch that now um, rather than in the middle of harvest or before harvest. So that's, um, that's a really good result there. Um, but yeah, I think we're just going to be ordering a few bits and pieces for that. And yeah, then we're going to get back into a fair bit of um, just paddock work. So there's quite a bit we want to get done, as you can imagine. Now, for those interested in the housem, which is actually what we call it, the grasshopper, um, this is a 2002 model, so it's 20 years old. Um, now, this was, I'm not exactly sure when it was purchased, but um, Brad used to be a spray contractor, um, and now that, sort of, that side of the business has become involved in the, the main farming things so we still do the contracting a bit um, but yeah this one's sort of semi-retired that's why it's just here at the development block we would like to say enjoying a, a sort of semi-retirement but it's it's hard work here um, with the rocks and gullies and things so uh, yeah it, it's it is copping a bit of a beating but um, it is doing the job 
So it is actually, it's an interesting system. Um, it's quite good in a lot of ways. Um, with the boom set up, it's got, you might be able to see up there, there's air lines on each individual nozzle. And what that is, is it's, it's air operated. So each nozzle body is air operated. So in the control um, panel up there, when a section comes on that's split into four sections. Um, so yeah, when a section comes on, it um, just puts air to those to that section, brings them on. Um, and that way you can have a recirculating boom. So that means um, as far as when you come to, come to flush it out, it's easy. So the boom's always, always being recirculated. Um, and yeah, that just, a lot of the newer sprayers have that sort of thing, except that instead of air, they're using um, obviously solenoids, like electrical solenoids. Um, but yeah, so this is all right. The only problem is you've got air, you've got hydraulic, and you've got electrical. Um, so there's always one of those three that's got issues. Um, so yeah, it's sort of, it can be a bit of a challenge at times. But all in all, it does a pretty good job. It's um, just really lacks horsepower. I don't know how many horsepower it is, but um, the hydrostat drive and everything, it, it sort of seems like it's got the grunt there, but it'll actually just stall the motor out. So when you get into a soft patch or get bogged, a lot of the time you're not actually bogged, it's just that you can't, um, yeah, the, the engine just keeps wanting to stall. It's quite light on its feet. It's got the skinny wheels and yeah, it's quite a light machine. So it, um, yeah, it doesn't cut too big a tracks. And, uh, but yeah, the bad thing is it's not real good in the wet because it just doesn't have the horsepower. So yeah, if we could double the horsepower, it'd be a different machine. So yeah, that's a brief history and overview of the Housem. Currently done a total of 313 hectares. Uh, we've got about another 140 to go. You might be able to see Josiah is in the Deutz and the drag bucket over there. And what he's been doing is just um, meandering about and trying to cover up some of the bigger marks where the headers were getting bogged and yeah, it's obviously when it was wet. Um, yeah, with the marks around. So just the worst ones of them. And yeah, I think at a later date, the grader will be here at some point to tidy off um, yeah, quite a few of these contour banks. Next week, may just get started on the gassing. So that'll be another bit of excitement so anyway guys that'll probably be the end of the video for now uh, just remember to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already and yeah check us out if you haven't um, check us out on facebook and instagram uh, it has been a little bit slow there just with the business we haven't had time to upload much on that but hopefully that will improve check that out as well and we'll catch you in the next one